Hi, I'm Liana Leota. My nickname is La, and I play mid court for the Silver Ferns. Uh, 2003 um, in the squad and officially took the court in 2008. Playing franchise for the Southern Southern Sting the year that we won um, the last National Bank Cup and then had to trial and made the squad. So yeah, pretty much been in it since then. Pretty stoked really, you know, I think I was 19 years of age and it was just um, just come off World Youth Champs for um, under 21. So pretty exciting time and just uh, I suppose another step forward uh, in my netball career. I, I wake up every morning wanting to play, you know. I love going to trainings and I love competing and um, I love winning. <laughs> so no, I think, yeah, just the desire to wake up every morning, you know, put your shoes on, get out there with the netball and ball and just train is, yeah, really what keeps me going. I've had a few, I think, um, Bubby Timapara, she's been really great too. Um, to have it in, in the team, she's really helped me with my game and just someone I really looked up to. Jenny May, Jenny May and Amy Jean have really been um, inspirational too. I think just the positions they play and their ability and skills um, that they've put out on the court have really um, yeah, shown me the ways, ways of how I really want to play. Something to do with food, I really love food, really love cooking. Well, before netball I did. but. Um, yeah, probably I've always thought growing up I'd be a chef or, you know, own a cafe or something like that, eat all those naughty foods that you're not really allowed to with netball. Oh. <laughs> probably the ones that bring me treats. No, um, everyone's kind of good. Like, we, they're very different in their own ways and um, I think we get along really well, which is kind of weird. Oh, Katrina Grant. <laughs> no, she, she has lots. I think she's just... An out, out there, outspoken girl, but no, she, she brings us a lot of laughs. Um, once we're in camp together, it's pretty full on. We usually uh, train in the morning, have a team um, session, and then usually in the night time we have games, and in between we have lots of individual meetings or um, subgroup meetings. So I think it is quite full on, but we're not together that often, so it's, it's really beneficial. It's exciting, like, I think these last two years have really shown how um, how much we've stepped up as professional athletes, and that um, and how far we can go. And I'm just really enjoyed being being able to train and be and I suppose be paid for it. So no, it's really enjoyable. I think for me, you think about those Aussies, you know, training just as hard, I suppose, and you know, wanting to win. I suppose in those dying minutes, you know, like with the Commonwealth Games, how we went to extra overtime, you just think. If only I have the energy for that. So I think it's just those special moments and those times where you really have to push through the pain barrier, but you know all your other teammates are doing it, so you never give up. For me, I don't put pressure on myself. I just try to play and do my job and just do what I've been asked to do on court. Um, if I do anything else, it's a bonus, but I think just to be able to do my job and help my teammates out is really all I concentrate on. I think if I put pressure on to say, hey, you need to do this and that, I think that's when I suppose lose, lose the plot and don't quite do my job. Oh, I always can't explain it. I was angry, I was uh, emotional, it was just a, a roller coaster, and I think I gave myself a headache just yelling so much, but I suppose once that goal went through, the hoop and, and we had finally won, it was just a sense of relief, you know, we had trained so hard and the girls had played their butts off, especially to go on that overtime and yeah, I was just satisfied to have won and when you look over and see their faces and a few of them are crying, you just you just think, wow, we, that could have been us, but hey, you know, we won that gold medal. Uh, there's a few of them that I think um, we've got friendly with over over the um, ANZ champs and stuff like that. At the start, yeah, I was too, I sort of, you know, kept, kept my distance. But um, no, I think these last couple of years, we've really got to bond and get to know each other um, off court. So it's, it's really been good. I'm a nine and a half woman, so quite big for a little person. Definitely the notebook. I think if you can wake up every morning and you want to play netball, and it's just your passion, your everything. Get out there and do it, you know, dreams are free and you can just go for 
go for it, don't hold back and yeah, if you have a dream just pursue it, especially if you have so much love and passion for it.